<sighs> That's how I feel. That's how you should feel when it comes to Fridays. As you see here, we're going to do moving and panning. I, I, want, I, want, I want to be able to move and pan and zoom. Three minutes on a, a themed map today. Don't ask me what happened to me saying themed. I don't know either. Your voice does sometimes. Anyway, this is a Jeopardy category called Things You Don't See Every Day. I have no idea what this means. Exactly. You could argue that unless you're actually from these places, you could say that about everywhere. This is South America. Exactly where? I don't know. Um, I'm seeing what this road sign up here is going to say. Anyway, how are we doing? It is Friday, as I mentioned. So I think we are at a border of Peru and what? I don't know. Um, how was your week? It is over. I think we're at like a... Uh, I don't know. I mean, this is Peru. Are we on a border of something? We might be like down here. Like some, there's no like water or anything. There's a bit of mountains. So maybe we're like here. I'm just going to click there and see what happens. But as I said, it's the official start of your weekend. I have said it. Therefore, it's true. Mazo Cruz. Let's look for that. Mazo Cruz. <clears throat> I don't think there's a border. Oh, there's the Y. I'm assuming that that's, that is that. It probably isn't. Let me go back a bit and see how this road splits. Kind of. Bit of a turn. If we were heading out of town, that would be cutting back towards town. So we're like here, I'm going to say. Been a very week of a week. Um, what have I done? Um, I have to cough is what I have to do. Excuse me. Um, finished what I didn't know at the time was the uh, final in the main series of the Witcher books. And I'm not going to spoil anything, but I don't know if I was a, uh, if I'm a fan, how the book ended um i mean five books the last one was super long i mean there's two more i have to read that are just basically like anecdotal side stories but i don't know felt like maybe more could have been done i don't know if the series is done done probably is i haven't looked into it more than just like oh the book's done uh what about these other two books Oh, they're just side ones. So the main story is done. I guess that's how this ends. I don't know if I agree with how it ends, but hey, you do whatever you want to. You're you're the author, Mister Zapkowski. Uh, I'm just here to read it. Um, there was probably about oh, I don't know. I'd say three. Chapters in that book that I just did not care about because they were just kind of a like disjointed a bit from the how the rest of the series was. Like I don't care about dimensions and freaking talking unicorns, but it didn't really seem to fit much with the rest of the series. But after like one chapter, I'm like, oh, I'm so done with this, and then it just goes back into the style of writing I very much like, where it was like. Four different stories all being told simultaneously, interlinking, and then right at the end they all kind of tied together. I'm like, okay, this is the stuff I appreciate and enjoy. I still don't know what they mean by things you don't see every day. Am I, am I like supposed to be like, oh, is there a weird, weird thing on screen that I'm just not noticing? I mean, I'm, is that thing the weird thing? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Is this dude weird? He's just walking on the street. 
it's just is a, a giant fork is that the weird thing there's people in front of it taking a photo i guess that's the weird thing it's a giant fork i don't know but here we are is this a village apartments public pool and i don't know those public pools always have that uh, chlorine smell. It's very strong. Message series retro church. Oh, it's a church. Life 360. That's kind of sad. This real, potentially what looks like a nice movie theater. I don't know how it doesn't look like it's that old, honestly. Didn't last that long. Now it's a, now it's a Jesus. A house of Jesus. Okay, we've got the U.S. flag. I'm not seeing the flag for the state next to it or a POW MIA flag or anything like that. So I don't know where this is. Cox Health. Um, I don't know if that has anything to do with like that cable company called Cox. Um, so I don't know if I want to say, maybe this is like a Florida thing. Central Bank is about as generic a name as you can get. Chesterfield Family and Domestic Dental Center. Chesterfield. This is such a McMansion type thing. Not a McMansion, just this suburban cookie cutter, force injected, manufactured downtown, just out in the middle of no like in some industrial park that is just soulless and there's nothing in it here that that's interesting compelling i feel like i've been to this place before but i'm not getting ozark so i'll, I'll if this is the ozarks that's where i'll say we are <clears throat> Lake of the Ozarks. I'll say we're in Camdenton, but, you know, I, I don't know. I'm assuming that that's Ozarks. That's, like, where we are. Like, home of the biggest fork. Wow. Uh, one sec. I guess. Okay, I wasn't that far off. We're, right, we're outside Springfield. What made this place so? Is it just the dumb fork? World's largest fork. That's just another thing to tie it around. It's like, this is just such a soulless place that they had nothing to offer anybody except a fake giant fork that no one cares about. I do feel like I've been here. So I remember these weird face things. But that was like a long time ago that I might have been here. Like, this is probably Tokyo, but I don't know if I'm going to figure out where we are. Dotonbori Hotel. Does, like, Dotonbori mean giant head feet? I'll just say we're, like, over here or something. We're just going to walk around and look at the weird things and go, Whoa, that is weird. That's quirky. I don't know what snacks those are. I didn't want to go this way. The lounges, hotel, and banquet customers. Tiny tables. Uh, I don't see anything there of use. What do we got in here? That man is on the phone. That's a witch, a little bat, cute little ghost. Got some umbrellas. A little like queuing area for your luggage. Where is this? There's nothing to this place. This is Dotembori, and then and then there's like, great, you just have weird things outside, but then it's just a hotel in front. There's nothing exciting about it. Yes, it's things I've never seen before, but you don't really carry the aesthetic to inside. Maybe there isn't enough room to do that. Fair enough. But, eh, I give this about a 5 out of 10. It's very average. Cool. You got some heads outside. You do nothing with them. Unless there's some 
lore or something behind Dotombori or something. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to stay here other than just get a photo in front and go, eh, look at this. And then keep walking to some other place. Like, it's a square fish. That's a flounder, I'm guessing. Hotel Bale. Is that like a jail themed hotel? There's a little bit of like almost chromatic, chromatic aberration happening here. I think it's just blurry. But yeah, I'm not going to waste the 30 seconds here. We're going to continue on to the next. Oh, it's Osaka. Excuse me. How could I not know? Lawson's Toto Bori. I guess it's a thing. Popular district for dining and theater. Osaka. Oh, it's what I'm going to assume is that one house everyone has in their neighborhood. Uh, I don't know if this is the same or like towns worldwide, but I know it's at least a American phenomenon of the one little town, uh, one little house within everyone's town. That's usually it can be anywhere. The outskirts. Um, hell is hot, 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 huh? That doesn't really keep up their lawn. It's a little unkempt. It's uh, full of weird, pitchy, sometimes disturbing things. You know, a thousand cars on their full lawn. There's 18,000 bikes. Uh, nothing has been moved or touched on their property in 30 years. Or in this case, you've got what looks to be just random, rusting metal boxes. And these all actually just look like empty air conditioner shells that have different religious sayings on them. And it's just all this house is and this person's life is like, it's my goal, regardless of how ugly it is. I think I'm doing something very important by just yelling at everybody on signs about what I believe and what I believe everyone else should believe. In this case, sex is hell. It's hot. Don't do it. Like, this is a very, very catchy phrase. No ice water in hell to drink. Hell is hot, 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 hot. Like, I always wonder if, if these things are... Uh, Jason something? Jason is healthy? I, I can't read that. If, like, one day it just all hits them, or they put one, um, one little sign out, and it just kind of goes from there. Like, there, there, there is a backstory to it. And you just, I just can't ever tell if it's one thing. They're all at once. He just woke. They just woke up one morning and said, "I need to find every disused air conditioner, take the metal shells off it, buy paint, and put all my thoughts about Jesus, sex, hell, and ice water on them, and then put it on my lawn so every time someone drives by, they can look for like two seconds, and." In that time, not really register anything they have on their signs. They'll just either do a couple of things. Look at this crazy person. Oh, it ran out of time. I was talking too much to myself. Rice's Cross Garden. Apparently, it's a big enough thing that it's got its own. And as far as a cross garden, I think I saw maybe two crosses. There was way more. Just rusty metal everywhere. Now this is cool. I am never going to guess where this is, number one. But I'm going to say this is Tibet. Or at least the Himalayas. I'll just say we're, uh, 
There's Everest. We're somewhere around here. I think we're saying Cho Oyu. I never really realized how close to the border it actually is. World's highest peak for mountaineers. Why does it say for mountaineers? Is there a uh, taller mountain that no one can get to? Is like, where's that other one? Losta or whatever is the highest mountain for goats. Or is the highest mountain for bikes? Would I hike this? I would like to. Maybe during this time of year. Mainly because I don't think I want to do this in the winter. This doesn't look like... Um, how do I word this? The snow, ice, potentially deadly... Um, weather, I think that's the wrong, I was going to say habitat, but I can't think of the right word. The issues you can run into hiking something like Everest, this doesn't look like this has the same issue. Like, I'm thinking this is because of the architecture of this building here. I'm thinking this is Asia, not so much South America, but there isn't any snow. And Everest has nothing but snow when you get to the summit. So maybe this is more over here. Like, that makes any sense. Um, I don't know how high this is. If there's a certain height these mountains get to where it's just snow all the time. We are not above the clouds. So maybe we're just over here. I'm just randomly clicking places at this point. And just kind of looking at, oh, this is a completely unresolved chunk of the world where everyone's claiming everything and then sometimes not. Or you've got Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, and Kyrgyzstan, all of this stuff like, no, we're part of this, we're part of this, we're part of that. Border gore, as some people may call it. But this is definitely pretty. I'm sure this hike was fun, hard, and beautiful. This dude's got it on a pole above his head, just taking a nice shot. Let's see where we are. I'm going to make the guess now. Well, I did not expect this in any way. We are on an island. Rishiri Island. National, Par National Park, known for its alpine floor. That's a cool place. Well, other than me just completely forgetting to click on one, which I've been known to do, I can say those are all places I've never seen before because I've never actually been there. So, good on you. Anyway, that's going to do it for your week. Go enjoy your week, and I'm going to go try to do the same, get some videos done for next week. Um, come back Monday for the non-game-related video. Then the cooking one Tuesday, then your two geoguessers for the rest of the week. If you do happen to have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, tips, hints, suggestions for maps, um, the 50 50 challenge, anything at all, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will read them and get back to you. Go enjoy your weekend, as I've said six million times. I will too. Goodbye. <laughs>